welcome everybody. Um, today we will be continuing our playthrough of Alien Noir um, with the great Detective Shabby. The man is a menace to society, but he's good at solving crimes. Also, he runs. He runs a lot. Uh, so, hello, welcome in. Um, let us get started. We are uh, still on traffic right now, with the other options being, um, I guess we'll go to vice and homicide and arson at some point. Uh, the game, my notebook already has my career trajectory written in it, so it's nice. I can just keep track of what I'm going to do in the future. Uh, right now we're working on uh, the case, a slip of the tongue. Um, we basically just talked to the used car dealer that, um, Stefan and I both want to shoot in the back of the head out back. Um, he will deserve it. He knows what he has done. Um, but yeah, we've just ta basically talked with them so far. So we are still very early on this. So far, it seems like, uh, we pulled over someone with a stolen car, but he had purchased it at this used car dealership. Um... So we're just kind of figuring that out. It seems like there's probably some fraud with pink slips and um, selling it. We just need to figure out where the fraud is and where the, who's stealing the cars and how they're getting on a used car lot. Uh, but there's something I have to do first. It's where we ended last uh, last time, and that was stealing this nice, nice, nice car off hey, the hey, lot. Hey, 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 what the hell are you doing? Come on, Bukowski, move it. All right, so Bounce. where are we? I'm coming. We're going. Who's, um... Who's this? Is this the who owns registration address? Oh, this is the person who is on the registration slip for the uh, car. So we're going to their house. I think it's a her. I think it was Jane. I might be wrong. Well, yeah. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying. I mean, heart attacks can be kind of funny, though. Dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Oh, hello, Jarpo. Good seeing you. Hopefully, everything's going well at work today. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. All right, so it is Jane Archer. That was her name. We should go to the station. See what this Belasco guy has to say. All right, so we don't know who Jane. We don't know. The address is wrong. It's fake. Um, he wants us to go to the station. But yeah, let's go to the station. Uh, I want. I'll only go. To, I'll go to the marquee place. That's the the place where the pink slips are from, which might be forged. Or fraudulent. We'll go there last. And I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, look out for the pedestrians. They're fine. They're, they're like, co covered in grease or something. Come on, Cole. Leave them alone. All right, so today's a new day. I mean, it's the same day in-game. But for me, it's a new day. So we have to get our cardio in. And no cardio is complete without shoving people on the ground. Oh, she's in for it. She, she sees me. Ah, oh, damn it. She looked over her shoulder. You're a real asshole, you know that? Ooh, nice flowers. Oh, I see her. I see her. Oh, oh I'm going to get the guy, too. I'm going to try for a twofer. Oh, no, he sees. He knows what's happening. She's oblivious. There she goes. Yeah, he knew. This isn't a race all right, that's, that's two people. Not in a row, though. You don't get double points for that. Also, I learned yesterday, very late, uh, there's a map. Bukowski, get over here. Keep Somehow. Your shirt on. Oh, yes, that's right. You have to go through the main menu. So I can see how long uh, I dedicated myself to running. Oh, it's not that far. I think. Oh no, it's um It's not close. It's not close. I'm about halfway, but I have to go over here first. Obviously, I need to go do the street crime. 
So I have to, what's it? Let's, what do I have to do here? I have to go down Grand Avenue to Third Street. I guess I'm going to Second Street and then trying to hook up with Olive or Hill. And then Hill might be better. I don't even need to go down Grand, but I'm going down Grand. I'm hitting this guy. This, this, this. Yes, I got him. That's a twofer. That's a good way to start the day. What? What? Who would? All right, that's something we learned uh, yesterday about this game. They have some weird conversations when you're just kind of like going by people on the street. And also, Cole Phelps smells. Apparently, he's a stinky boy. I gotta have it. <laughs> it's just. There's like, there were several women I walked by on the side of the street who were talking about how their legs were sore because of how tight they were. And I, I have no idea what they're talking. Like they would just be alone on the, on the uh, sidewalk with no one but me around them. And they just start saying this. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I'm walking here. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's just some of my, my head. Oh, I need to get my hat. It's the fifties. You ain't a man if you ain't got a hat. This guy's got a screw loose. Okay. All right. Well, my statement's still true. In the fifties. Excuse me, sir. You're a real asshole. You know that. <laughs> I like how he sounded so tired. <laughs> like he was exhausted to call me an asshole. Taking that hill like a champ, though. And uh, honestly, in real life, going down that hill for me, I would have twisted and broken my ankle. What? Why is he shoeless? What took you so long? They're getting away. What happened here, sir? It's like, what took you so long? I ran as fast as I could. Dirty louses took Ooh. everything and then booked. They went that way. The 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 stairs alongside the track. All right. There's a landmark right here, but I have to find these criminals. Oh, there they are. Found them. LAPD. Right in the knee. Hopefully he's still alive. I shot him in the ass and the knee. He should not be dead. I've never been shot in the ass, but I don't think it kills you. Car 11K, shots fired. The suspect is down at third and hill. Code four here, but I need an ambulance. All right, no corner. They're still alive. Third and hill street is code four, code four. It's like, it's like officer, I didn't want you to kill them. I just, I just need my shoes back. Oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing that could be done. What is this? A stolen vehicle call? Is that like the first call? Because they're all yellow, and I assume yellow is like my main mission stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just go back to the, go to the central station. I doubt that was those are for like That's a guy from the papers. It saw that big case. What big case? Happened? I don't know what half these people are talking about half the time. Ooh, I got a hat. How dare you? Look at all those hats. Is that the hat is still going through the street. I don't need this. The man got knocked over and his hat went halfway to Timbuktu. That price is outrageous. I get you. She wants a five star guard. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, I can keep going down Olive here. And then just hook up at the next street, basically. Or I can go down this alley. No, no. I'll go down the alley. 
I'm an alley man. You can't stop me from going down alleys. <laughs> that was a good fucking jump. Fucking whole Phelps is doing parkour here. Like my partner will have no idea where I went. He's like, what the fuck is he doing? Like he went down an alleyway and then like five hours later when I got back to the station, he was just sitting there like, hey, what took you so long? I survived the war for this. Wait, five years from now, all our jobs will be done by robots. Not all our jobs. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit paper. Thanks. I want to make homicide. You know all right. He said two, right? I don't mind that you're Interrogation room. I don't mind that I'm not two. So I gave him a dusting. There it is. That's yeah. two. Okay. Crummy bastard. All right. Well, fuck you, dude. I'm leaving. James Belasco? <laughs> I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Well, you paid for the car, sure. Paper but it's not yours. Alaska, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Stolen car. Where are you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. All right. Well, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him then. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. 10 years for a stolen car? I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Okay, so he's... He is like a go-between for the cars. Uh, association with Archer. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything oh, to you? Oh, it's G, not Jane. Nope. Never heard of her. You guys are assuming that it's a it's a woman real quick, but it could just be a dude. Turn the gain up a little bit. I don't think he's telling the truth. You he is. partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't oh, know dude. Gene Archer. Dope. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just deliver them. No, oh, yeah, that's a lie. He's not looking at me. Give me something, Belasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Jesus okay, Christ. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> the cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. <laughs> I mean, this is something they still do. <laughs> like, I mean. It's like, tell me something. Or I'll basically put you in a room full of people who are going to stab and murder you. It's like, all right. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. Not looking at me. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. Not I'm looking at me. me. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And we'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Nope. Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. I they was going to go there. The numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. 
The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Did he tell me his name or did I just assume it was Ray? <laughs> Anyone I talk to, it's just your name is Ray. Anything on the back? I'm gonna be honest, it's a lot easier to move this around with the mouse than it is the controller. That's probably because I'm just used to the controller more, though. The oh, Ray, you were still there? Were you God damn it, Stefan. Tell me when the guy I'm talking about is still there. GTA suspect Gene Archer? Yeah. Spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. We are Plus really too close. Down the street if you run. Go! <laughs> running! Around. Got it, I'm running! Uh, yeah, the Western Union office. Okay, cool. Alright, running! <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm running. That's that cop. Yeah, thanks. It is that cop. Get back here and apologize. No, I'm the I am the law. Isn't that the cop? Not the guy that's dead. That's an oh no. I thought that was a top hat. It just didn't load in right for me. It's a busy street, okay? Right there, there it is. I ran as fast as I could. The only way I know how. Coming people. Out of the way. This isn't a race truck. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Yeah. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? Nah. I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. I don't understand anything she just said, but I do know she tries to bribe me. And that is an offense punishable by death. I'm sorry, um, a fee. Fine. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Yeah, I think you're lying. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car? I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. <laughs> Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Okay. Association with Belasco. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? He's your boyfriend. Damn it. He's what? the guy you boost cars with. What? Why would I assume his boyfriend? So dumb, you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? You decided to make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard time. <laughs> I did not. I'm not just going to assume it's her boyfriend. But whatever. That's a weird assumption. Oh, he's gonna get hit! He's fine. It's your boyfriend. Say, like, hold on. Damn, Harry thinks he can get fresh whenever he pleases. What? I thought this was such a nice area. I feel as though there's something I need to discuss with the lady in there. Like, there's some sort of abuse or something that's going on. But I ain't got time! Tech the shabby has to run places. Oh, I don't know where that is. Go to the marquee printing company. Is there anything going on near me? There is. Is it on my way? It is. Awesome. Let's go do street crime. We have to go back on Second Street to Main Street, and then from Main Street goes to unnamed street. <laughs>
All right. Well, they can't name everything. I know that, but still. All right. Let's go. Go up Second Street. This guy must have escaped from the Looney Band. What? I didn't. I'm just running. I mean, none of you people seen running people. Some people. I mean, I know it's it's hard to run in all these like suits and pants and polyester, but still. Running existed. I mean, take a look at me. I'm a guy who you definitely could tell ran. Sir, excuse me. Is that lemon? Is that lemons for seven cents? Per pound? Seven cents per pound? You can't even get air for seven cents per pound nowadays. It's like a quarter. In like like Indiana. In Illinois, I'm sorry. Maybe both. You wait. Got him. Wow, that looks like a beauty. This is Main Street. He's only a writer, so. Are there street names? Why name a street if there's no way of marking it? What the? Fucking magic car over there, Jesus! I right. here's the here's the streak. You is hiding from me. Hey, hello. Yes, sir. Welcome in, Martinez. Damn. Why did you or Martinez? So preparation H. My day's been going well. How about yourself? Ooh wee! Benny's giving me speed. Oh. Oh, was that a pharmacy? You <laughs> dealing drugs? Hey, it ain't no, ain't no uh, problem with that. Wait, no, that, that's a crime. All right, just come back here. Come back, just. All right, look, I'm not gonna shoot at you. Just stop running. This is why we do cardio, people. That's good to hear. Really need to lay off the uh oh, he's gonna fight. He's gonna fight. One sec, one sec. He's gonna fight me. All right. Come on. Come on. Right there. There you go. Oh, my stream's going fine so far. Just uh, just getting in some uh, good old LA noir, um, which I've never played. Well. I played a tutorial of L.A. Noir like half a dozen times, but I've never actually beaten and completed the game, so I'm just kind of going through it. It's, I I find that uh, you don't use the uh, calling out people for a lie all that often, and you just you have to hammer down doubt. That seems to be the correct answer most of the time. It's just to doubt people. Also, uh, I'm working on making uh, Phelps. Uh, a track star. He, uh, I run everywhere. San Pedro Street should take me right where I need to go. So I just go down the second to San Pedro, huh? It is, it is great. Um, let's see. So this is second street, so I just gotta... Yeah, I just gotta go this way. That's that cop. I'm also not a good cop. the latest thing? Not a good, a great person. I'm encouraging people to. Is this the street I need to go down? Sorry, now that I've learned that there's a map button, it, it's. No, I need to go two more streets. I'm, I'm that guy who always has to check a map. I need to know where I'm going or I get lost. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? No, it's a it's a it's a great game by um by Rockstar. Same people who are uh, GTA fame. 
Uh, and it, like, when it came out, God, I want to say, like, almost uh, easily a decade ago. Uh, <laughs> it's, it was, like, some of the best, most, like, revolutionary face tracking technology. But nowadays, it's just really weird. Because <laughs> you watch some of the faces, and they look really good. Like, the technology is still, like, amazing technology. But it's like they told all of the actors, it's like, we need you to, like, overexpress. <laughs> we need you to look like your face is made of rubber, and it's constantly being jiggled. Uh, as I said, though, the technology is still great, and it still looks uh, really, really amazing. But uh, it's just, it's funny. I haven't seen a, uh, too many uh, yet today, but yesterday there were some people whose faces just looked like they were being wish to the center of their nose and it's just hard to tell you know it's hard to tell if someone's lying or not when they when they ate like a thousand sour apples was fun i'm having fun i'm enjoying it hopefully uh hopefully you guys are enjoying it too though i know it's uh because of my method of travel kind of gets a little quiet with for in the game but I think I, I think I'll just run like a little bit more for, for the joke, and then I'll start driving cars again. Oh yeah, it's it's a good game. I would recommend it. Especially if you like. I mean, again, it, it, there's not a lot of. Isn't that the cop that caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Detective work, I guess you could say. Is it? It's pretty. It's pretty simple. It's there's not a lot to it. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of like collectibles and stuff in it because you have to go around getting cars and stuff like that to 100% it. But as far as the gameplay itself goes, it's pretty simple. You kind of go from point A to point B, um, basically your different locations to find clues. You walk around, you find clues, and then you interview people about those clues. You ask them questions. And you're just basically unraveling a a, 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 a case or like a like a crime and you're trying to figure out who did it and it, the game is very on rail like it's not a lot of choices matter kind of game you can basically get every question wrong don't find any clues do everything wrong and the game still takes you through the story of it um so it's not like you're not gonna miss anything you're, you're not gonna really fail the only things you can fail are like some of the little mini quests not mini quests but little mini game stuff and get shot a bunch but it's very forgiving like that. So if you just want like a pretty chill kind of game that you put on a nice TV, sit back at night and just play it a couple of hours on, it's definitely a really good game for that. Oh uh, yeah, I play a lot of uh I'm I don't really play any particular game. I that's I have a uh, inability to co uh sit and play one thing for too long. Uh so I usually have to change up the games I play. So yeah, this is, um, I'm just doing this for, I think, until I beat it. I, I probably I'm going to beat it by Friday, uh, unless I get distracted and run around too much. But I could probably do it pretty much in a couple of days here. After that, I'll probably play a different uh, game next week. Um, oh, I have to go through this door. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. All right, well, they're have associated with stolen cars. Stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's yes. no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. Yeah, they're they're not forgeries though. All right, I don't know if there's any clues here, but I'm gonna look around just in case. Yeah, it's a small room, so I'm pretty sure there's no clues here. I just need to talk to the guy. Yeah, that's all I gotta do. Weird that. They wouldn't. Oh, what's this? Is this where I came in? It is. It's weird that they didn't just start me in the conversation then. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball.
Yeah, I like story-based games. I mean, mostly, I mean, they're, they're, uh, I'm not too worried about stories when it comes into video games. Um, because usually it's definitely about gameplay for me. But story is definitely an important aspect of the game. Uh, it, without a good story, a game kind of doesn't really, you know, it kind of falls flat. But it doesn't have to be, like, revolutionary story. Just a good one. Well thought out. And I'm for it, you know? I've not played Elden Ring. Uh, I have played Boulder's Gate, though. Um, I'm thinking I might uh, do, at some point, a Listen, series I'm playthrough you for, know like... The door is. Calm down, bro. <laughs> I'm looking at my notes. Uh, I think doing, like, a series playthrough of um, all of the Dra Dark Souls games and kind of do Elden Ring and Sakura, uh, Sakura in there as well. Uh, yeah, you got any knowledge of this theft racket? No, uh, pink slip supply. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Look me in the eyes. Oh, he did, she stopped. Yeah, I, I trust you. You sure you don't know either of them? He, he knew him. He lied. Never heard of either gentleman. All right, time to beat him up. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. You know, I'm going to doubt you. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. What are my favorite games? Um, it's like I have like a top five of games. Um, and technically it's a top four. It's only top five because of, you know, the the uh, the uh, normal convention of having a top five. But number one is not that great. It's solitaire. Uh, it's because it's just a great game that you can just play by yourself. Just need a card. But after that, my favorite video game would probably be Transistor uh, by Supergiant Games. Uh, that game is just... I just love every aspect of that game. It has basically everything I want in a game. And on, Also, I'm just a big fan of Supergiant Games themselves. Uh, since Bastion, and then their second one, Transistor. Uh, who They also just came out with Hades 2, which I played last week. Uh, Listen, I'm busy. You know where the door is. I have a gun. <laughs> uh no let me let me let me look at let me look at there let me look at the ledger first look for patterns recurring names unusual addresses anything out of the ordinary okay names 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 sorry let me just look through this Nothing too on. Well, there's Big Low. Big Low something? Am I pointing at Big Low? You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. No. Good luck. No, I, I want to. Let me look at the ledger some more. Yeah, I mean, Hades 2 is just in. Um, early access right now so they're they're kind of doing the same thing they did with hades one except not exclusive to epic games Hi <gasps> hey thanks for the follow appreciate that but uh yeah they're um they're not they're just kind of like putting it out there right now to see how fans react and kind of get things fine-tuned while they're also getting like assets there's a lot of um what is it there's a lot of uh uh of models and stuff they haven't quite put out yet. Um, so they'll probably release it in, I don't know, like a year and a half or so, like they did with Hades 1. But yeah, it's a great game. I'm glad they're getting a lot of uh, recognition from it. Thank you. I, I, hope, I hope I have, uh, like, some potential here. I hope, as I said, as, as long as you bring some entertainment to people, that's really <laughs> what I aim to do. Um, I think that is, 
Yeah, two boxes. Nope, that's not the one. Big low, two boxes large. I mean, I guess it's not that weird. It's just that there's a repeat. Uh, and oh, that's what I want. Industrial. Street. Can I get that, please? Can you, can you tap the right thing? All right, I think I might have already gotten it. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, so we have the address for the industrial street that we were looking for before. So we should be able to go there, but I just need to question him about the racket. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Money. Same way everyone does. I'm going to say you're wrong, and I'm going to doubt you, because that's the whole reason we're here. We have suspects yeah. with legitimate pink I know slips it. that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. I'm sure you did, yeah. A number yeah. of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there I'm not sorry to bother him at all. He didn't... He had to... Like, he was not cooperative. I had to doubt everything he said. All right, where are we going now? Let's see. We are going... Wrong button, sorry. We are going to the industrial... Wait, is there still something here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's still something here that I haven't gotten yet. What is it, though? That's the question. Oh, is it this? This isn't what <laughs> I'm looking for. I haven't even heard of Once Human. I've seen Content Warning. Um, it seemed like an interesting game. Um, I could... But... I don't think there's anything in this. I don't think this book is anything. Uh, but yeah, I haven't tried it personally myself. And the, yeah, the emotional shift between pretty much every interrogation was, was that there's a, uh, a famous clip. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to recreate it yesterday because I got to a part and I, I guess I hit the wrong prompt. But there's a, uh, yesterday when you're talking to like, we had to talk to an Argentinian, um, diplomat who is a pedophile. Uh, and it's just great because it, it goes from a point where he's talking about how Americans are presumptuous. And then the very next thing is Cole looks at him. It's like, so are you a child diddler? It's like immediately just goes right into it. There is no chill in Cole Phelps. And yeah, I'm just going to keep looking at this book. But yeah, I, I have not heard of Once Human. I, I could check that. Usually I'm pretty up on games, but. Let's see. I don't. Is there anything else I need to click or tap on? GP Lawrence, because I don't think there's anything else that's really standing out here. Unless, can I go? Ah, oh, there's another page. Gibbons. Eddie's Diner. What does Eddie's Diner need? Six boxes? As before, Industrial Street. Hmm. Stevens. Have I seen Stevens before? Mm, not that often. What am I missing? Am I missing anything? Maybe if I try to talk to him again. Hey. Well, I trust you've got all that you need. No. I want that red book. Let me back here. No. <laughs> Alright, he's okay with me being back here? Yeah, I've, I've I definitely, I've definitely considered um, uh, trying to use artwork and stuff. Um, I'm not a great artist myself, so it takes it. I'd have to like. Um, 
fine. Friendly girl, used to getting uh, her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. What? And what is your type, Phelps? What are we talking Mary. about? I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Oh, like, they're talking about when I talked to uh, Gene uh, uh, at I Archer. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah, the man is human after all. Now, get in some. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine, too. There, I, gotta, I gotta be missing something bread. there. It usually crosses out the names. I have to go check this. I need to. I need to be sure. What if I talk to? The, sorry, I'm not that sorry. What if I talk to him? Hey, can I talk? Wow, he crumbled like a piece of paper. There is there anything else I'm missing here? Is there anything here? Huh. As I know a uh, a friend of mine who's uh who also does artwork. I'm just gonna been talking to her about it. Though again, I mean I don't have money to pay. So it's just like one of those things, it's like it'll happen. Also, I kinda wanted to uh work on the like what the style is going to be because obviously the name of the stream is shabby streamer so it has to be you know not good <laughs> that's the idea that's what i kind of want to go for something that's just like not a good artwork <laughs> it just has to be like you know slightly Childlike in nature. Like I want like reminiscent to like Microsoft Paint, which unfortunately they don't have on computers anymore. They have like what is it, Th Paint 3D, which is it's fine. It gets like the general idea of them. I try, I like, try to go for. But again, I'm not an artist. There a car here? It's on my way. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. Where am I going? I mean, I appreciate the offer. I mean, I might, um, I might take you up on it another time, but I think at this time, probably not. Because I'm still trying to work on what I want myself, what the stream and like the artworks and stuff like that are going to go moving forward. Once I get that worked out, I'd be more than willing to shop around and see what. Uh, see other people's uh, portfolios and stuff. But at this point, as I don't even know what I want, so it's hard to it's hard to say. You know, I think I go in this way. Yep, it's right here. Have I already gotten this one? No, I have not. Oh yeah, absolutely. I would do that. No problem. I mean, I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. Cause that would be a big help. As I said, once I. Figure out, figure out who I am and get my voice and stuff like that. I mean, I'm working on a um, Discord for for the channel right now, um, which I am. And, and part of there. I'm still working on um, getting that all set up. I was working on it this weekend and earlier today. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I got this. This is a little floaty. A little floaty. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, and as I said, that's that would be the dream, you know, being able to uh, get some nice artwork and stuff like that as well. As I'm just doing it all in stages, you know. Just started like earlier, like last week, uh, last month. So yeah, as I said, it's in the uh, it's in the about page. You just have to um, if I have it set up right. I don't know if I have it set up right. Um, but it's in the about page on uh, Twitch here. It's you just gotta click the uh, the image that says Discord. And it should take you to it. I just, I, uh, if I set it up right. Which I think I did. Let's see. Just gotta go down to... Alameda? Lam Lameda. <laughs> Alameda. <laughs> it's like the first time I ever see that word. Oh, yes. I will do that, um... When I, when I get a chance after the stream here, I'll get that checked out. Let's see. What is we got going on here? All right. This is the industrial street that we heard about earlier. I forgot who we heard about it from. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Oh, did I, I skipped a cutscene. One sec. One second here. I can I can remedy this. I can remedy this. Gentlemen, take me. I wish to be reborn in a world of cutscenes. Wow, you guys. Maybe you shouldn't be part of an, uh, a criminal organization. Cole God, Phelps, LAPD. I do this to myself. All of you are coming downtown with me. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We're speed run this. Yeah. This is the uh, kind of stuff I was talking about earlier. It's really the only way that you can fail is by just dying, or. You know, like people getting away from you during chase sequences. All right, let's see here. I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. Get Fleischer down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Okay. You got a few seconds, Stefan. Oh, so I don't have to. He's just naturally giving it to him. Okay. I'm sure Stefan's not going to actually do much to help me. He's going to get a bullet that kind of like. Phelps, LAPD. Oh, okay, so there wasn't much. All of you are coming downtown with me. Didn't give him a chance to surrender, but we're good. All right, let's get behind cover. Ow, 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 ow. That's kind of a dick move. There we go. Is there explosives? Is that explosive? It is explosive. Okay. Alright, I need to get some of my color back here. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if I'd say like Rockstar, yeah, definitely running and gunfights like these kind of sequences they're not always great in games, especially their older games but I would also want to put in that list stealth sequences because boy oh boy are those awful you have to do one earlier in this game where you're like tailing a guy and it's like the most awkward part is because you're sitting there and he's in his car and it wants you to not be too close to him 
But basically, it just means that you're his car, and then the only other car is yours, and you're like five feet behind him. Like, so unnatural. Like, you have to park down the street when you're at a stoplight. It's like, how is this less suspicious? And then you move slightly too forward. It's like, oh, yo, you blew it. Gotta do it again. So yeah, the stealth sequences and the tr tailing missions and most uh, Rockstar games are not great. There we go. That guy's taken care of. Probably. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I lost my hat. Where'd it go? There it is. Got it. I'm coming. Throw out the guns. Alright, he's dead. Try the door again. In my defense, the first two shots, I thought he was a bad guy. The rest is, you know, no witnesses. I think there's one where you tail a person on foot and can stop to look in windows. <laughs> yeah, as I said, those, they're never that impressive parts. It's just one of those things that you have to do in these types of games. It's like, all right. Cole Phelps, LAPD. Got, got a tailing all mission. Kill a cop and it's the electric chair. Move, move. Bro, you're not hiding. Bro. <laughs> oh, dude. Get a better hiding spot, man. That's on you. Is that a bad guy? Is he? Is he dead? Did I, did I get him? Guys. <laughs> Someone's gonna need to teach you a proper hiding. Proper cover. Have they spawned yet? Or do I have to go up there? Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. I think I have to go up here. Yeah. Please. Sir? Alright. I'm ready. Anytime. I'm gonna put hold in you, asshole. You crouch? You dick. There we go. He didn't need a nose anymore. All right, one second. Let me go grab a hat. Can I? Can I? Nope, I can't. Okay. What's in here? Anything? No. Okay. There we go. Now I got a better uh, negotiation right, tool. Right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, there's the music. Okay, so now there are clues. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Okay. I got an achievement just by looking at that. Easy achievement, I guess. What's over here? Let's see. We got Marquee Printing. Delivery note. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. I mean, it has his name right here. Gordon Letball. Okay, so... The issue was it wasn't crossed out because I have to go back. That's that's it. That makes sense. Because I'm not done yet with him. A betting slip. 
Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Got it. So he's doing this payoff debting, uh, debt. Weird that you guys have this just we out and about. Pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the ballot of bulge. <laughs> I can't give you anything. We know about Marky Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. No, you don't. There's no problem with that. That's a lie. But is it a lie? Li don't Get. lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal. And I order them from Marquis. Yeah, okay. Fake address. Right. You don't ask, you never find out. Okay, I can go back. Okay, good. Um, because I wanted to look at my notebook. That's what I wanted to do. So, delivery ledger. I mean, I'm gonna doubt. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more punks won't. Yeah, I don't. He was there. lying, but I don't really have the evidence. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Well, yeah, okay. Lightfall. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. None of us have luck at the track. One of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. That's just a blatant lie. Is it? What is it? Okay, yeah, no, this is. I think I can. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow. I think I can use that hey, message from you, Ray. Detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? The message, the note from Ray Pinker. Gordon Lightball owns Marquis Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in hock over 20 grand. If the feds find out, the contracts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. <laughs> like, the heat's off you. We're letting you go. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You're just gonna let me go? So, yeah. Go home. Alright. Um, so yeah, I think we just go back to, um... We go back to let, uh, the printing. The marquee printing. What's going on over there? Don't worry about it. Ooh, my fancy new car that I completely bought legally and obtained. Alright, you're walking on your own. Alright. Let me let me set where we're going here. Or I'm back to the marquee printing company. We're gonna confront Gordon. Come on, Bukowski, move it. I don't care on you had to walk. Two blocks to get back. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, I shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, <laughs> especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how Light long they could have kept this his name. Going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings him down. Alright, let's go. Excuse me. It's all about speed. Yeah. Jesus, Alright, alright, sorry. 
Sorry. That's my bad. That was my bad. I don't think this car runs that well anymore. <laughs> I think I've had a noticeable drop in performance. Hey, well, look at here. A police car. I'll take it. Step out of the vehicle. I've got an urgent call. You guys can walk back to the station. Is there anything happening nearby? No. I just gotta get on Alameda and go up. Oh, my partner's not in. Ah, you know, he probably doesn't have anything to tell me. He can run it. I'm tired of him getting the free pass with all these teleportation things that's happening for them. He needs to run it. Never be able to keep up with perps if you just, you know, laze around and drive in cars. Jesus. Is this it? Hey, I'm in the cutscene. <laughs> like a glove, man. Oh, I wish I could afford that. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. I don't think you're walking away from this one, buddy. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Uh, yes. Um, save it, light bulb. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. The gambling slips. The gambling debts. No, I'm not going to say him, though. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, light bulb. Yeah. I agree. I have a small problem. Yeah, you were bad at picking horses. Can, detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, light bulb. There we go. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. We're taking you all back, Lightball. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire... More than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The I LAPD didn't kill that many people. Sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get there was... out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. Life was simpler back then. You just kind of show up someone with a gun, shoot some people, call them bad guys, and everyone thinks you're a hero. All right, so we missed two clues. But I got 13 of the missed six questions. With a theft racket smashed, Lightball and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. Are they really his cronies? All right. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. I mean, there's also America a lot that went on with the Odyssey. We can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. 
That's four more hard years of fighting. I mean, luckily it didn't last that long. It wasn't, you know, a cakewalk for what it did last, but... Oh, I think I, I think this is going to be one that will, will test. I think it's either this one or another one later on, but it's like a fully nude corpse. I think, no, I think it's one later on. I think the lady still technically lives in this one. Phelps, Bukowski, you Maybe have a not, new case. Though. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody yeah, tried okay. to kill her. Where did this take place? Yeah, she's still alive. That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All right, that's an easy one to run to. Let's go. Never stick, and you'll get roasted. See you later, fellers. Try not to work too hard. <laughs> that's all they do is just sit in that room and smoke cigarettes. Here to my eye, watching my caterpillar. Alright. I'm just trying to fit. Female it. driver, crash site, female fashion. Okay. So oh right up there, right? No, it's over here. Alright, I just gotta get up there. That's probably that's probably the way. The stairs. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Here we go. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me, sorry. Not sorry about that one. All right, up we go. Come on. Here we go. Someone's like putting a picnic there on the back of the car. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take okay. a look around, so both animals. of them are Thanks. alive. Do that. It must be later. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. What's that mean? Hey, out of the way, bub. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. No, I'm not looking for the coroner. I'm looking to get inside of this car. Okay. I'm not going to talk to anyone yet. I want to get a feel for all of the evidence and clues. Can I just go down here? The answer is no. Come on, you can tell me. Alright, I'll go around. So I'll get down there, get some evidence, and then I'll talk to people. I'll talk to the coroner because, you know, I don't have to interrogate him. What's up? You want to see this, Phelps? There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Alright. What is the best part? You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Panties. Okay. Well, now he's just holding them. And torn off. Where did you find them? Stuck in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Okay. All right, I'm putting them down. <laughs> yeah, I ran a trace for semen. Covered them. Just soaked. Like... Yeah, can you tell me that before I pick them up? Uh, 
All right, I'm not reading all of this. She's a long way from home. Loving mother. Okay. Anything else in there? You just anything else, Cole? Oop, what's this? Okay, that's a head injury right there. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Yeah, that's why drunk drivers typically survive their accidents. California plates. Nothing too fancy. Was there anything else you wanted to tell me? Yes, okay. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. No, that was a skull. Real? Oh. No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? I don't. Oh, okay. I know I do. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess. Then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. You know, there's probably an easier way to wedge an accelerator Find down. anything interesting? How does someone manage to tip their ride straight off a cliff? The driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Was that all the clues? Yeah, we're a semen soaked underwear again. That was a horn. Yeah, so I don't think I don't think there's any more clues. So I'll, I'll go talk to the lady up front, up top. She was the driver, I think, and the passenger is the one that I went to. Central. The one the handbag, I believe, uh, belonged to. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? Nah. You're kind of cute for a cop. All right, calm down. Put it back Maybe in your pants, lady. Serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. I don't like. Keep out of this. Jesus. A B B minus movie actress <laughs> and uh, driver. All right, she's 41. Uh, doping allegations. Injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Um, I think she's telling the truth. And she's your protege? She isn't telling the truth. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. How was she not telling the truth there? You I'm just going to doubt you're still everything. You're suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Who did it? You can't remember who? I'm gonna doubt. It's a serious offense to withhold information yeah. from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. Always doubt. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And... Don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. All right, so Mark Bishop, that's the guy. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. No, I'm going to worry about it. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. 
then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it, and this is where I end up. All right, fake shrunken head. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. That's weird, because I normally do drive off cliff. Uh, in fact, I've done it several times. I'm doubting you. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Yep. Mrs. Doubt McCann, everything. I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. No, he's we're a baby face. Here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. All right, we're not shaking kids. We're taking the corners on car. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. Shouldn't have parked it within down. view. Shouldn't you be working? 95 vehicles? The car crash victim has regained consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. Alright, I'll go. I'll go. I'll be there. I'll be Let there. Let me say Roger. En route. Is there any crime nearby? It takes a long time to load this map. Oh, well. Um, no. There's no crime nearby. Everything's pretty close to each other. Can we try to get there in one piece? Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. It's gotta get unstuck from the tree a little bit. We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Are you blind? I hate these walls. You nearly the city needs to be more flat. We get there quicker if you use a siren. That would be all. It needs to not have hills. Are you asleep over there or what? Well, now you've either got to stop or put your fucking foot down. Is this where I need to go? Oh no, it's just a police station? There's a hospital uh, attached to the police station? I wonder if that's normal. I mean, it makes sense that it would be. I just didn't think of it. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview a Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. Convenient. All right, let's go. You can't hold me here. No. I feeling don't better need since to this be morning, Jessica. By a doctor. I need my uh, lawyer. My head's still. Where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Uh, so it looks like they got the uh, the other lady here. Unhappily, they worked fast. They got here quick. Sorry, one sec. What do we got here? We got drugs? Maybe. No. Just picking up random things in <laughs> the Everything cop here is going to be relevant. The cop comes into your hospital room to start picking up random things. Huh? I wonder. You're making like, me uncomfortable. Just standing around here looking at me, not saying anything. I'm not looking at you. Seems irrelevant. So do you think? The first edition. All right. Here we go. This is what it wants me to look at. Fifteen. 
Oh, sugar, you need to go back home. This sound is gonna eat ya. Head trauma, soft tissue damage sustained in car accident, uh, residual traces of, uh, hydrate. Okay, so chlorohydrate in bloodstream, external bruising to genitals, uh, and other evidence of criminal abuse. Um, okay. All right, so O2 is good. She's, her pulse was high, but it seems so stabilized. Blood pressure is similar. Um, okay, so she's good. She's doing pretty good now. She came in kind of not great, uh, obviously, uh, but she's doing fine now. Uh, her pain has gone up though. I mean, it makes sense actually. She's coming around, so her pain is going to be known. Oh, oh, it goes in the opposite direction. So it's gone down. Pain's it goes from I'm five. Just standing around here looking at me, not saying anything. Is that normal how pain scores work? Five asleep. Zero pain, mild pain, moderate pain. And that's weird. Why five is before zero, but okay. Her pain has gone down. Never mind. Recently administered. Do not administer further sedatives without express permission. Patient to be held for bed rest and observation. Okay. Everything looks good. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Also, where's your parents? You're 15. You're a minor. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Yeah, no doubt. Jessica, if you don't want me to call your father, you better tell me what happened. Please, please don't call Daddy. Why are you being so horrible to me? Can't you see what I've been through? We need to contact your parents. You're a minor. Don't put an X next to that. I did what was right. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. All right. Can I prove that she was... Oh, I should have said just lie and use the letter. This is why you need to look. I'm going to say she's lying. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. Tales all this time. She knew what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It is. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my I mean, found out about the her. abuse isn't her fault, but Even her being a bitch is her fault. You're still underage. Uh, evidence of criminal abuse. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Is this just a doubt or is she? I mean, I don't think she's lying. Because I have nothing. But I think I just doubt. Someone tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you okay. Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a grown up. I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. No one Why said. Are you I mean, trying to hurt me? no one said you were. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What was that? What was that shot? Uh, 
No. Doubt. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McCaffrey? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone. Yeah, people do that often when they're happy. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? I don't think she will. Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Did <laughs> you calm down, Jessica? All right. <laughs> get get it together. The tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. Because she's going to get her husband to beat the shit out of the producer guy. Well, the husband probably won't. They just had, like, some Come goonies. On. Not the goonies. Just some other ones. Oh, no! Son of a bitch. Ballard is definitely up to something. Good old ailing missions. Is that cop, the uh, cabbie, get out of his car? I, I tapped it a little bit. He's like, I'm getting out and beating the shit out of this cop. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. I'm gonna try not to fail this so we don't have to do it again. This isn't suspicious at all. This is normal behavior. There it goes. <laughs> I guess I had to drive up a little bit. Get in there and see what she's up to. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. Two club sandwiches. Thank you, Lacey. RB and you. Where do I need to go? Agnito. Yeah, she's calling her husband. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Yeah, she wants. Then he wants him dead. Calls. I'm gonna be very clear about. Get this done, or I'm Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment, apartment 803. All right, all right, I can get to him before she can. Sure, I got the film. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Hi. Bye. All right. We need to go to the apartment. The man's about to die. So what's the story? 
I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an... Got it. Just gonna let's see if there's any crime nearby. I am a police officer after a way. After all. Just, eh. Okay, what do we got? Nothing of any interest. Okay, so we... Go down to 7th Street? Yeah, just stay on Broadway, go to 7th Street, and that should take us to Garland Avenue. That's where we need to go. Rest. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his brother. And this should make a kid. You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill Let's her? Go. Let's see. All right. I mean, we can all agree Ballard. Three 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 South Main Street. Three 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 South Main Street. Officer needs help. Two eleven. The shots fired. Unit to Hamilton. Go three. All right. Uh. This. He, he can wait. He can wait. He'll be fine. So just, just me. Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Where are these apartments, though? I should check. Yeah, let's check here. Are they basically where I already came from? Essentially, yeah. <laughs> I think it's further away. All right, just go all the way to Main Street. That'll get us to where we need to be. Is that Main Street? That's Main. Okay. We're good. All right, let's go. Here we are. Three 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 South Main Street. Three 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 South Main Street. Officer needs help. What's the situation? Uh, we got a hold up on Sour. Calmly sitting outside while people shoot. I tried to go in through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead for my trouble. All right, I'll see if I can get it through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep him busy. Let's go. Run back. Mercy. All right, I got this. I got this. I got... We gotta get around back. Go Rambo. What's the entrance? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I need I need to borrow this. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's higher. Okay. Oh, this might not be the best one for a hostage. Oh, I got my pistol again. That's right. Pretty good shot, if I say so myself. I wish I do. You ever wonder if I should just be allowed to go around right, shooting K. people indiscriminately like I do? 333 South Main Street, Globe Loan and Jewelry. It's code four now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. Your supervisor knows you, you murdered some people. They're dead. All right, um, back to 7th Street, I guess.
I want that car. Excuse me, stop. I'm confiscating this vehicle. LAPD, police be emergency. Careful with it, copper. Oh, oh, okay, I'll be careful. I mean, I already hit it. For Christ's sake! I'm being careful. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being careful. Not now. God damn it. All right, that's enough. I actually need this car to get me somewhere. What the hell? Did I miss it? Was that 7th Street? All I see is street. I don't I can't see the number of the streets on the mini map. Not now. Which street is this? Is it six? All right. Oh, sweet Jesus. Not yet. Oh, is my partner not in here? That, that was that was Cole Phelps, the main character, saying, "Oh, sweet Jesus!" to my own driving. <laughs> I'm scaring myself. All right. Should just be an easy trip to the uh, destination now. No harm done. All right, I was a little too gentle with that car. I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. Oh, I need not your car. on your life, Buster. Let's go. <laughs> People shouting about how I could have killed someone as I drive away from an accident. Alright, let's knock this. Missed it. I still would have plenty of time to get here, even with the detour of killing people. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, with the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Thank you. You know, technically I'd want to take the stairs. Sounds you know, like we're party. About to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Wait. Wait. Okay, we're good. Wait, 803? Okay, yeah, this is left. Got it. 803, we're good. I know which way my left and right is. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs. <laughs> nope, Mrs. they just arrived. Gloria Bishop, please. Come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Hold up. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Is Mark Bishop the original creator of Brokeback Mountain? Probably nothing. I don't know. He looks like a Nazi. Flowers. Probably nothing. It's just a vase. No good to me. Book. New Testament. Just a Bible. Hmm. I don't think this is any use to us. Can I look at this? What is that? Nope. Okay. Gay Cowboys. To it's Mark to Bishop. Mark. Alright, let's go in here. 
A nice engagement ring. Some lipstick. Is it my color? I think the I think it would be okay if I pocket this ring. You know, gotta make money. It doesn't appear to be connected. There's nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to open the wardrobe. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? From poor Mark Bishop. From. Is that what? Who is that? can't read that handwriting. Oh, I guess I can't open. It doesn't give me anything to go on. No, and it doesn't look like that letter is meant to be picked up. I don't think there's anything else in here. What about over here? I don't think that's anything. Oh, it's just some cash. I don't think it I don't think it matters. Just cash. I don't think so. And I think this is just like a cigar box. I think this is going to help us. Yeah, it's a cigar box. Can I look at that? Nope, okay. Picture. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Okay. A replica movie set, yeah. Great Intolerance. Wall of a replica of a replica. That whiskey and a match. But optimistic call. I don't think either one of these things are gonna do anything. It's just like liquor or whiskey or something. Junk. Or tequila? What is that? Yeah, it's tequila. That clipboard is probably nothing, even though it looks like something. Anything over here? Let's go in here. Uh, are you trying to tell me I can look at these, sp like this, the spoon and the uh, fork? Not Nothing fork. Significant. Like these kitchen utensils? Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing in here. Yeah, there's just, they just, there's nothing to take here. It's just, they sent some people here to throw the room around and just put a scare in them, I guess, sure which it, it worked. The wife is scared. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, again, none of this matters. I'm just trying to uh, get all get all the clues for the uh, stats at the end. Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? I mean, one of them is probably Mark Bishop. Mark. Oh, thank and you. Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Thank you, ma'am. All right, I think I've looked at everything. Nice view, though. Yeah, okay. I say looking down like, nice view. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No, why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. Whoa! She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business.
their husband and wife. She probably knows a little bit about the business. I'm going to say truth, though. She is maintaining that eye contact. And if there's anything I've learned, I'm probably wrong. Your husband was using yeah. June Ballard in his new movie? Yeah. <laughs> Hardly. Mark feels that June Ballard has limited range and is over the hill. It's never truth, and it's only sometimes lie. Always doubt. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Yeah, I got a pistol. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. I don't trust you. You are complicit in all of this, Gloria. You know what happens to these poor deluded kids, and you go along with it. I need what? to find your Why husband. are we talking about kids now? I didn't come to Hollywood. ask about that. Handsome young man like you might find a little something in the movies. You've never thought about it? Oh. No, I haven't. Well, then you must be the only person in this burg who hasn't. We're born into temptation, detective. It's character that determines what we do about it. Trace address of prop store. Your husband know. was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Doubt. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. Oh, that still doesn't make it okay. A genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Hollywood. Operator, give me dispatch. I'm going to use your phone real quick, ma'am. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver Screen Props, Corner 3rd and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. Got it. Time to go. Good luck cleaning this place up, lady. I'm going to take that cash. And that ring. Are there no stairs? I have to take the elevator? An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and a movie producer's wife. We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. <laughs> Correct. They're all hacks. Actually, is there a newspaper over here? There is. And a comic. Alright. There is a newspaper, though. Can I look at it? Nope. Okay. It's not, it's not an important newspaper. I'll go over here. Never mind. 
I think later when I'm like trying to get 100% of the achievements in this game, because I naturally that I have to do that, I'll just uh, use a guide, probably, <laughs> to figure out where everything is, because there's too many cards. I have to get in every car, I think, for Mrs. one of the Bishop achievements. Knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man brief decorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to... Take it easy! I'm just making the most use of the road. All right, she it's here. To time you gotta use it. A couple of oceans between him and the cat. On the reverse side, the team should wait to Montreal to repatriate 500 Yugoslavs. I think it's my street that I turn on. Look out! All right, I had to look out. I didn't. I need a. Look, I'm looking for a Figaro Street now. I'm not sure how I feel about this, uh, this radio station. <laughs> this radio station I was listening to. Watch it! Full of advice, aren't you? That's my desire. Oh, wow, I got upgrade. I'm gonna kill everyone now. Jesus Christ. Those mailboxes don't weigh anything. They just go. You don't care who gets in your way, do you? Oh, I had to keep going down the street. All right. There it is. Big guru. Oh, hey, that little truck's got an address on it, too. I think I've been in one of these before, but I'll just get into it. Yeah, I've been in one of these. It's going to suck later when I don't know what cars I have and haven't been in. Unless they have, like, some sort of... Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. Like checklist. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Yeah, we're pretty sure something awful happened here, and uh, you're going to be an accomplice for it. Game crashed. Uh, so let me just bring it back up here. One second. All right, so I'm just outside. That's good. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here. How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. <laughs> Lead the way. I like how he's already kind of defensive. He's like, well, how, wait, how do, you, how do you know about that? Who told you? It's like, I don't know. One of the two actresses who were seen here that had an attempted murder against them. So, you coming? Kind of a personal question. I need to look around first. It's a pretty cool place to be, you know? A bunch of props, furniture, you know, stuff to dress a set with. It's like a little Goodwill. Just like... I mean, it's just a bunch of furniture. So, you coming? Calm down, sir. Are those real drums? Would they work? I'm not going back that way. That's where it crashed. What's over here? Anything? Oh, yes. 
Oh, there's a uh, newspaper. Uh, sit back and watch. I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight Who's out. Courtney Sheldon? Like you back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. I mean, I know That's you right, met him Mr. earlier, Paul, but like a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy. Wrecked, Lenny. He's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> How can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Jeez. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're gonna Ma'am, are you doing okay? She's panicking in the back. You get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and Surrettes. Yeah, Surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay. Listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. All right. Deal. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? I was kind of rude of him just to stand up and walk away like that. The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. All right. I mean, I think we missed the middle part here for <laughs> for the Sheldon story. Because now he's selling drugs. And I don't even know who Lenny is. All right, here we go. This is what we need to look at. Come on, Phelps, put it together. These are the prop heads. There we go. That's the exact one that we saw earlier. So this is where you sprang from. There we go. All right. So we got that. So we now know that the head came from here. I mean, we probably could have assumed, but at least now we have the evidence of it. Hmm? What? Why is this here? There's something behind here. There's just a fake wall. Phelps, there's a fake, like... Go right, Phelps! Alright. I guess that's that's later. That's a later thing. It's nice portraits of uh, backdrops. So you coming? No, I'm gonna go over here. What over here? There we go. <laughs> Open the other door. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Ooh, a hat. Take it. It's yours. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. It's a neat hat. What do you mean? Wear it. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Yeah, I know. That wasn't. It's a story. Makeup. Not much help. Yeah, that I don't think anything on this table is going to be that helpful. 
It just looks like makeup and hair stuff. Alright. Before I go into that room, let me check out this one. Well, that's suspicious. Maybe I should go into that room first. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Yeah. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Yeah, I found the door for it. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. I mean, it's not even well hidden. Again, the, the other door is just like down. Well, that's suspicious. There it is. There it is. That's the chloral hydrate. Using her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? We need to find Doctor Stone Man. He supplied it. Oh, it's just another head. All right, let's go in the other room. It can't be that way, Phil. You couldn't fit a rat through there. What? All right. Well, I think I know where it is, though. Found the, uh, the fake wall earlier. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ, fell. Ah, the classic beer bottle. It ain't a crime scene until there's an old beer bottle. That's how you know you're on the right. Ah, this is... Uh, what's, what would you say? Gross. Is it proper or is it real? I mean, this is all evidence. Jingle, Jingle drums. drums. Sorry. Rick and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Okay. Oh. Uh. I don't want to look at this. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Is, this, are, is there still tequila in this? I need a drink. Yeah. That makes sense. I had a feeling there was another one behind the bathroom here. There we go. All right, let's go back, interrogate them. All the music stopped, so I think I found everything. All right, you got some explaining to do. Whereabouts of Bishop? Where is he? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife? My advice to him would be to leave town. Good advice. I'm warning you, Hopgood. If you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it... Wind it back a notch, tough guy. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. When Bishop was doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. 
I haven't seen him around here in a while. All right, that's a lie. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? He brings up a good point. I don't have a warrant for half the things I've done, or any, technically, of the things I've done. I have a drugged up 15 year old yeah. girl and you have chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop <clears throat> was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. That's a lie. It's your property. You're the one that has the hidden cameras behind mirrors in the bathroom and it's the sound stage. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. All right, do I have anything that... No, see, I don't think... Yeah, because this is also here. And they can't they wouldn't have me do lie with two possible things that are basically the same thing, right? I maybe I should just doubt. Ballard was out, then she's in, then Bishop visits this place and goes crazy. You're in it somehow. These clowns fuck young girls on the couch. The girls think they're gonna be stars, they really put their backs into it. It's a price they're willing to pay. None of them will press charges. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Yeah. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives! Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. All right, this you is the, uh, to know the guys who roughed the up muscle. The bishop earlier today, by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We can beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. Alive or Please mostly dead? Kind of dumb. But polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey buddy. Got one. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, you run. 
I'm coming for you. You pissed off the wrong man. Okay. Okay, well, he's going down, too. <laughs> I, why didn't my partner shoot? <laughs> he leaned out of the car for a little bit. Shoot him, you know? Come on, Stefan. Yeah, I'm just not going through that cutscene again. I don't think they like your little pep talk, Bukowski. Oh, shit. Get us out of here. Can you shoot him? Can you shoot him? I can't take the shot from here, Cole. What? What do you mean? What do you mean they you really can't take the shot from here? They do. All right, you got him. All right, I'm in a car. I'm in a car. We need to lose those fools, Phelps. I don't even know where they are. There they are. No. You stay in the car. Nope, nope, you you don't get up. You don't get up. Resilient Make motherfucker. Alright, will he get in the car if I leave now? The driver's dead. Alright, he got in the car immediately. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. There we go. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. All right. If they're prepared to Behind gun us. down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. I mean, our job, unfortunately. I'm with Stefan on this one. I, I'll just let him have him. I mean, what best case scenario here is that we arrest a guy, charge him, he gets convicted, goes to jail for being a, you know, a child molester, and then he dies in jail. Seems like a lot of effort. You know, let the thugs get to him. It's the same thing. And that's coming from a place of uh, being a police officer. I'm doing what's right for the citizenry. And that is to reduce the amount of paperwork I have to do. As long as I don't have to do any paperwork, the city is safe. Slow down the city is in fun. no danger whatsoever. Alright. <laughs> they just let this sit in the middle of the city like this? There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Why are you running? LAPD. Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KGPL. The question is distance at 8. Why are you running? The abandoned movie set. My partner is pursuing suspect on foot. Code 3, KGPL. We're trying to help you, Bishop. Back here, get back here. Yes, it probably has been, but you're a weird abuser of children, so you need to come down to the, uh, the station. God, for a fucking freak, he really runs, man. And I do cardio every day. Ow. I'm just trying not to get kicked. All 
Alright, here we go, here we go. Bishop, that's enough. Stop running. Damn it. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. He's two dollars. He's blackmailing. Got him. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. Why didn't you come quietly I'm down there? Back if he's good and will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. I can just shoot you. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. What? What other way? It's a movie set. Christ, detective! They're trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. Come on. I want a headshot. There we go. It's this way. McAfee doesn't make the rule. You hear me? There we go. This is a nice one. Is that a Garen? Kill him for God's sake. I don't want to die. That counts as a headshot. LAPD. Oh, it's fine. I don't want to shoot the explosive no barrels on the here. wooden I you set. Said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. What? Is this really the best McAfee's got? Oh, this way. Got it. Weapon. Come on, it's this way. Come on, come on. How did you hit me? God, they're everywhere. Okay, I'll I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, I got a guy up there. Okay. You have to get me out of here. Is he still shooting me? All right, he's gone. He's dead. <laughs> Taken care of. Come on, come on. Ow. Let me just let me just let me just stop the bleeding here. Ah, I think that was a shoulder shot. Nope, not my hat. There it is. I don't want to die here. No one wants to die here. I had to reload. Is there somewhere on the screen <laughs> that shows me how much ammo I have left? Last chance to back the hell down. Come on, it's this way. That was a headshot. Oh, okay, cool. I, I got I got my headshots. I can I can start just indiscriminately shooting people now. I'll kill every last one of you if I have to. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. Oh, yeah, that guy up there. You shot my hat off. Is this really the best McAfee's got? God, they're everywhere. There. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Oh, okay. Over here? Got it. Do you also have... Yeah, he does. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any ammo. <laughs> Gage. So I'm just guessing. This doesn't feel faster. Get him over here. I'll cover you. Come on. The cavalry's here. For the love of God, how many are 
Thanks, Stefan. You really got my back, buddy. Oh, is someone shooting us from above? My bad. My bad. Finally, we need to get him to the car. Is that my hat? Where'd my hat go? I don't Dumb little bitch. Here. Lost my hat. I'll kill every last one of you if I have to. I got Wanda Thompson. <laughs> Let's move forward. This, is, this will be better. Oh, there's an army of them. We're done for. This will work. Get into the car. I can cover you from here. You're almost there. Close the cops. How long do you think you can hold out? <laughs> Problem solved. Only now way I know this how. This is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. I don't... Phelps, such a reputation, I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. It was an honor and a privilege working with you, Stefan. You couldn't keep up in the running game, but... You were around. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap, didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you didn't. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. I like how no one likes this guy. Still allowed to work as a vice uh, detective, but no one likes. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads <laughs> love it. Sure, I guess. You Good like bands and swing? I can understand. Gladiator movies. Palaver, I I like the jazz. I thought oh, that's a B movie, isn't it? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. If they like you, bro, I don't think I'll like here. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, yeah, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole, you can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about something. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. Alphonse, I want it to be known that I don't like this was guy. my only real friend. I'm not with him. We went through it all. You realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no oh, idea. Oh, hey, is that doctor? You was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. <laughs> Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? 
Good question. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? I just want it to be known that I'm not yeah, with him. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Uh, rain check? Complete all cases on the traffic desk achievement. Oh, okay. Ooh, one clue. We missed one clue. Only $50 in injuries. That's not bad. Going to homicide. Reaching the apartment earlier would have meant a, cha a chance to meet McAfee's goons. What for? Oh. Uh... Nah, I was too busy. Couldn't have been helped. There's no way I could have gotten there. The red lipstick murder. Yeah, now we're dealing with dead people exclusively. Or soon to be dead people? I know who did it. it was that All guy? Right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. <gasps> hey, we're back with him. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. Oh, I, I took some time, time in burglary. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Can I go back to working traffic? Completing a desk unless the streets of LA, allowing you to patrol the city and attend street crimes. Oh, okay, a new set of street crimes. Okay. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. South Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Too slow, Rusty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as soon as I'm finished. Oh wait, you know, you know what? It's a new desk. Oh, a new car too. Nice. New desk, new car, new case, new day. We're running, Rusty. Street crime. Uh tell you what, we'll do some cardio to the street crime, and then we'll drive to the location of the crime. Uh let's see. So we just want to go down Hill Street all the way to 8th. Got it. I can do that. All right, let's go. We're doing real police work now. Excuse me. Isn't that the cop Excuse me. The guy that was pretending to be dead? Coming through. Slow down, idiot. What do you think? You're a bulldog? Jesus. He gave a couple of pushes for that guy. Extra, read all about it. Probably should have grabbed that newspaper. I'd have some time and some quiet while I'm running there to read. There's such a thing as soap, you know. There they go again. They're calling Phelps smelly. Keep walking, pal. Drunk, 
That's quite a bit of them. Alright, I'm at third. I'm on third street. I just need to get down to eighth. Be a quick jaunt. Isn't even safe to walk in the street. If any of you guys see a Maserati, just let me know. This guy's got a screw loose. Isn't he a cop who won the medal and is solving all the cases? I wonder what medal I got. I'm sorry, what? Has socks in it. Where are they going? Alright, gotta keep running, I guess. Can I see if I find something that they're going to? They might be going to the same place I'm going to. They'll just get there before I do, obviously. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm about halfway. Where are you running? Where are you running? That looks guilty. Are they going in a circle? Why you? Why you wanna? Wow, that looks like a few. Oh, it's uh, which one is this? If that's you. Sorry, this is Sixth Street. We got a couple more blocks. We're good. Shut up! I bathe daily. It's just I run a lot. Ah. Oh, uh oh. Okay. One second. That'll be a problem I'll have to deal with later. All right, back to running. Sorry, his OBS is yelling at me. That's the guy from the papers. This guy must have escaped from the lily band. All right, we're at seven. Need this? A lot of flowers. Now I'm waiting tables. What the five star goddamn wedding? Does it? <laughs> Galloway, I need you. Come on, Rusty. Your shirt on. I'm coming. Come on, Rusty. <laughs> you think that's funny? Driving off and leaving me behind? <laughs> yeah, I think it's hilarious, but I didn't drive off and leave you behind. <laughs> Why you? Let's go, Rusty. I think he's a bit of a gangster. Keep up. Keep walking, pal. Oh, oh yeah, the the first crime. That price is outrageous. All right, we turn here. Don't need this. Get in front of this car. I'm sorry, Bruin fan, but uh, I, mean, I might get better for you. But I don't know if it's right away. Ooh. Isn't he a cop who won the medal and is solving all the cases? Who is he talking to? Again, there is no one else around that man. I'm just running up behind him, and he starts talking about me. the war for this. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to a crime. Alright, I see it. I see the crime. I see the crime. There it is. Please tell me what's going on. Oh, these guys are gawking. Oh, is he gonna Well, I don't have a lot of faith for this guy. So help me God, I'll jump! 
You need to get up. Do a flip. Talk, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps. Let's get moving. I could just shoot him. You jumping? Make sure you warn me before you do. I will. I heard this is. Wait. What? What? Oh, are we? Think you're thinking, hold you, Rusty. I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. Why are we? <laughs> this is, was this in like a handbook at some point? How to teach us how to climb up pipes on the side of buildings? Like, I don't think these are coded oh, to let people climb up them. On my shoes. Are, are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. Could have soaked them up with a sponge. I still can't eat spaghetti sauce. Hey, don't jump, all right? I... This what you wanted? I can't do it. I just... I'll come quietly, just... I need some help. Please. You gotta get me some help. God, I'm gonna pun uh, push you. You're a danger to yourself and to others. You're getting arrested. And you're going to jail. I feel as though I didn't need to run all the way from the police station to do that. Feels like any of the firefighters could have done that. Alright, so we need to go north. This map is so big. Alright, there's Hollywood. We're in Central. Alright. I say we just take Hope Street all the way up to... Hope Street doesn't go all the way up, huh? Awesome. So we'll take Flower Street all the way to... Son of a bitch. Okay. Take 8th Street to Figaro. Take Figaro to 2nd. And then 2nd should turn into Glendale, and that should be where we need to go. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. This figure out? The, the street name's really throwing me off. No, this is Olive. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. All right, so we're going to go past all of the so one, two, three, four, fifth street behind me. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are you right, closer so to one. catching him? Out of chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads. We got nothing. Two. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, mm. I don't. 90% of murders are domestic. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. Yeah, this should be Figaro. Unless my cot was off by one. Alright, yep, let's go up Figaro then. The second street. Be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat, comes home. He's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think is going to happen? It's that simple. Well, you know, not be a, most of the a time, murderer. I don't know. I get lip all day. I don't go around killing people. I mean, I got two lips on my face. Too soon? The too soon? All right. This is um, Third Street or equivalent. So it's the next street. And then that should just go into Glendale. Sorry. Just go easy, Phelps. Sorry. Sorry. 
fire at 410 South Flower Street. Units at Canhandle Code 3, identify. All right, going Sorry, back to Mike Flower Street. What do you think? Uh, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? All right, I think I'm going to need to take Figaro. <laughs> I'm going to need to take the new car. <laughs> I don't like that car. That car is stupid. We're taking this car. This car is a better car. <laughs> it's not stuck up a hill. Alright, see you there, Rusty. Alright, I can cut over and go down Flower Street. You idiot! I hear the shooting. Turn now, haven't they, boys? What? Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you, punks. Old man? The guy's younger than the, those three are. You ain't gonna last long in a tin shack. Why is one of them more down? What? Where? Where are they? Oh, they went underneath. Oh, wow. Damn it, they went down there. I thought they had gotten like bugged into the ground or something. Alright, let's go. Hey, stop. Stop. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Guys, stop. He's alive. Oh god. Just shot him in the foot. He's okay. He doesn't have kneecaps, but he's alive. I'm sure that trolley didn't go over anyone. I'm pretty sure none of them landed on the tracks. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. Oh, I didn't kill anyone. <coughs> 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units 11K reports code four on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. Uh, is there a new car I haven't taken yet? I, they all look the same. I think he's a bit of a gangster. I'll take this one, it's red. Red goes faster. Get in it, Phelps. Out of the car, police. You can't do this. All right, so I came down Flower Street, so this should be Figaro behind me. Every man for himself. Go north. Really wish you told me. <laughs> See the name of streets. All right, I'm on Figaro. Okay, so it's not the next one, but it's the one after that, Second Street. All right, take this. And this should just lead me straight to Glendale. All right, there's Glendale. Wow, the All right, we go up here.
Time to do some crime solving without my partner because he's too slow. Wait. Okay, there you go. Scene is just up the dirt road, detective. Thank you. This is that soggy dirt road. Jeez. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Man, that's a lot of people I'd want to shoot. Yeah. Yeah, this one's naked. All right. Let's uh, go over here and investigate. All right, there you Trollman, go. This your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. All right. So there will come a point where I will need to inspect the body. This. Doesn't tell me anything. Mm, it tells you about a certain place you can get a uh, cigarette. It doesn't appear to be connected. Got it. What's this? He's putting an evidence card down. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. All right. Thank you. Can you go lower? You can't. Okay, so this is... You have to align it to the bottom. Nope, go to the top, Phelps. There we go. The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Oh, because it's a cool table lighter. I'm going to be honest with you. I'd steal it, too. Trying to make my job editing for YouTube easier. <laughs> Not looking. The victim's bag? Uh, this is just lipstick. Oh, okay. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. What else we got here? We got a comb. Or brush. What if it has any engravings on it? Probably not. Just a brush. Got it. What's that? Is that something? I guess not. All right, look at shoe prints. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Size eight. Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Okay. Anything over here? No. Can I tell anything from the tire prints? No. Oh, I can talk. Can I talk to you? Was it talk to you? No. First things first. Better speak to the reporting patrolman and Mal Carruthers. I already spoke to the patrolman, I think. So I'll Has talk the to the... Been secured? Talk to the, the coroner now. Saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. 
Oh, okay. Alright, well. Guess I'll look at the body now. I'm not a loss. It's a crime scene, isn't it? No, I... Don't just stand there. There you go. It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. Alright. Cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Okay. Can I look at the writing on her? I think no. I think that's basically it. I think that's all we got. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Do I have all the clues here? No. Something else. Cigarette butt. I wonder if this is going to help us. Uh, I don't want it to be over by the dead body. I already looked at that. God damn it. Okay. There might be something more. Not on the hands, maybe? Okay. Let me check the other hand. Oh, yes. Okay. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Good. Okay. Anything else I'm missing on the head? No. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. No, okay. I don't think there's anything else. Can I look at the boot mark? Nope, it just goes to her head. Okay. Okay, well, the music seems to have stopped. So I guess the thing I was missing was the ear, uh, the ring. Uh, so we're good to go. Thank goodness. So let's go to the, the Bomba Club. We can take a patrol car, or we can take this red one. Oh, that's the one I, I brought here. I didn't park it up here. Oh, is he angry? Is Rusty angry at me because I keep leaving him? Give me a break. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. All over the decades. Been working evidence from BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, bro. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power okay. over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. Ooh. That's not totally fantastic. You know, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, 
Another country, who knows? Hey, come on! You know, Rusty, you sound like a great, uh, a, a great detective. So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We have found it. Get out of the way! There's a madman on the loose! <laughs> Alright, I got you going. I got you lively there, Rusty. Watch where you're driving, you maniac. Yeah, I'm watching. I know where I'm going. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, by the way. Don't tell Rusty. We're still kind of like bonding, and I don't want him to. I don't want him to think that I'm a, a lunatic. Accurately, yeah. But I am. You're gonna kill us. Well, not before I, I kill Sorry. someone else. My partner isn't the greatest driver in the world. Hey, shut up, Rusty. Get us there. Calm down. That's my hood. <laughs> kill someone with that hood, Jesus. Help. There we go. Who's figuring it out? Necessary. The Bomba Club. Air conditioned. Wow. Fancy place. Sam is taking me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Peace. He knew yes. all about her. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, was... Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Four I just like... fingers of rye. I'm done. I just like how it's so, uh... he's sitting there. It's like, oh, yeah, I don't know anything about her. But after having just basically a statistical facts being read off to him he's like oh i know who you're talking about it's like all right all right Good. just don't know how to dance it's confusing people. you going to pay for that there he is detective phelps lapd we're investigating the murder of celine henry do you know her celine <laughs> oh christ sure i know her she and i and jacob her husband we go way back she was here last night Sure, she's a regular. Selene is... was a... lovely woman. I mean... Uh... Ringstone. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Selene always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Selene herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Red garnet, huh? Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. That's doubt. That's doubt right there. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. Yeah, I knew that. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. Knowledge of husband. Suspect seen with victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Who? You know him? No. He's 
Been in a couple of times. Do they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. That absolutely helps. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Of course a license plate would be helpful. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. <laughs> Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. At least... Why are you shifty? Why are you shifty eyeing me? If it, I don't think you... I mean, the husband wouldn't have killed her the way that she died. Like, that doesn't seem like a... I mean, I don't, I don't... I'm not a... I'm not a police officer. I'm just a detective. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but I got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. No, well, you don't have to anymore, though. So, take solace in that, right? That's a good... Hey, honey, what time did you get off with the table? Don't hit on the servers. Let's they have a job to do. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. <laughs> Damn it, Rusty. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. Oh, I should use the phone. Is there a phone in here that it was telling me to use? Yeah, okay. So, uh... How's your tuna fish salad? Operator, give me R and I. This place is serving a tuna fish salad? Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? Can you tell me who I killed her? Registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. I'll need to contact the DMV, so I'll see you in like a couple of hours. Is there a car to steal? I'm not. I mean, I'm not taking the car. I I drove here. Rusty could sit in there all he wants. I'm not taking that car. It's not in good condition. I want this one. I want this one. I want this one. I don't think I've been in this one yet. Police emergency. You can't do this. Sure can. Do whatever I want. Bye, Rusty. See you at the next place. He's probably happy. He can just get drunk. I crash into them. I was like, these sons of bitch. They need to learn how to drive. <laughs> Why can't other people drive as well as I do? God, they need to go back and learn how to drive and learn what they're doing. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Phelps. I agree. Sons of bitches. Enough of that. Let's see where we're going. Where are we going? Son of a bitch!
All right, car's still running. We're good. I probably got another couple of hits in it. Oh, hey, still going. Still going. We're good. It doesn't sound good. Did you guys hear that banging noise? You think? You think the engine's fine? Should have taken my other road. Just these are like little alleyways. Okay. I was like, I didn't notice the street. Oh, it's not, not the one I was pulling up to. Which one did I pull up to? It was across the street. Okay, whatever. Do our usual. Okay, never mind. Let's go and do my usual around the house looky loo. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Wonder when he's gonna tell. Oh, I I, I figured it out. <laughs> What's he gonna tell me? What's happening? Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. All right, well, let me go check it out. This place is a mess. Broken from the outside in. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. I like how he says that like, it's expensive. It's like nowadays a $30 suit's just like a t-shirt. A lot of dirty plates. I doubt it. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment two. Some okay. and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Yeah. The and evidence still weighs against it being her husband. She yeah. Give her something to go on. And also the fact that he's leaving a note for her. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Okay. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Oxidol. It's a cleaning solution. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Anything in here? Ooh, a shoe. Hmm. It's not my size. Almost had it, almost had it, almost there. Size nines, above average for a lady. Also not the right size for the crime scene. Or, you know, type of shoe. Okay. This, I mean, I guess it was burglarized, but this, I don't think this place looked like less of a mess. What key? Seems irrelevant. Okay. I was pretty interested in the key. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, okay. This is uh, another, another headline story. <laughs> you said I had to go back, doctor. Ugh. Fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. 
My circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Man, he's going through some stuff. That's uh Also, I don't think this guy has a is a real good doctor. I think I think he needs to have his medical license taken away. That's what my my opinions are. Play the piano. Tickle the ivories, Phelps. These goggles? Not sure this means much. I mean, I'm interested. All right. Nothing really going on in there. This is the room where he was calling people. Let's just keep going down there. Nothing in here. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, is that a ring? Missing. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Um, can I look at the picture? Because she's wearing her goggles here. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Oh, wow. Is that the the large ring? He's not kidding. It was huge. This is nothing. It's just a hairbrush. I think that was the last clue. What is this? I don't think so. What is this? Oh, is this like a, an old timey hair dryer? Or hair blower or whatever? Alright. We're good. I got all I need out of this place. Time to talk to the neighbors. Which neighbors, though? I'll go this way. And up. Oh, there we go. NYCP. LAPD. Okay. I don't think these are the people I talk to. Nothing. Okay. Let's go across the street. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Nope, not this one. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just crack? I'm crack. Not this one. I don't think across the street does anything. Okay. Maybe I should have gone to the house that my neighbor, uh, my uh, my partner went to. He's in the back though. Is there some guy back there? Oh, there is. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. What? LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan. Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. No. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? He dead. Real dead. Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Oh, I didn't tell you. Um, I work for homicide. But 
there anything else you can tell me, ma'am? Just, just give me some time to myself, please. All right, fine. But I'm taking your car. All right, fine. I won't take your car. The game has decided that that's not going to happen. Where am I going now? Jacob Henry's apartment. Alright, we go see if we can get some info from the husband. See if he knows anything. Oh, someone repaired my car. How nice of them. I heard he's an honest cop. Oxymoron for you. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I mean, I agree. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keep the house looking like that, so he probably deserved it. Jesus. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off her back for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't free, Falcon. Free, damn it. And <laughs> in so his conversation. A killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the VD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Will I make it? Jesus, Phelps! I'm impressed with myself. I made it. I probably shouldn't have. The apartment? No, that's the house. That's not an apartment. Okay. Jacob Henry's apartment. Going hard. Follow my lead. He's only a writer. He can't really help me. Got it. We're here. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? <laughs> LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh my for RKO, god. Pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Looks like a nice baseball. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. The alcoholism illness. Okay. No. Looking to help his wife with her problem. That are just going to well, more likely give her the book and tell her she has to read it and fix the problem. But you know, hey, what we got here? He'll be back in. Not sure this is how that works. I mean, I know it works. I know you can do this. But I don't think graphite kind of gets layered onto the paper like it was oil painting. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. <laughs> What's this, a baseball bat? That's not much. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Doesn't even look used. For murder. Nothing over here. Nothing in here. So I just got that one room I can go into. Huh? Give it a lucky loo. What's your shoe size? Oh, here we go. Maybe we can find out. 11. Size 11s. Not his shoes. All right, I think that's all I needed. The music has gone away. Rusty, do you hear it? The music's gone, Rusty. Uh, yeah, let's just go right into motive. Last contact. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? 
Last night, uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. He's not telling the full truth. And how are we meant to believe Damn that, it. Jacob? It isn't looking good for you. That nosy bitch from next door, Janie Horgan. She'll tell you I left. <laughs> and what time? Well, I've already talked to her. So who could have killed Celine? Where did She's she already told me that. A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. He is lying. He does know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. You do. You were called. License play, husband's out of a fourth century female shoes. Hmm. Here it is, yep. We know she went to the Bible Club. The bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. Shouldn't have done that. I have to live with that. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. Right into it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife that, that's quite the quite the pause there buddy i don't believe you jacob i think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself so you had someone else do it you want to back that up with something big mouth huh uh yeah the death threat note the note by the phone suggests you meant her harm easy you want the truth Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come down. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he killed her at all. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a lush and a tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Uh, he deserved it. No, I, it's okay. It's okay. I, I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. Not being rational. What's this bunker? Yeah, he's a good fighter. Uh, Rusty deserved it. Get a squad car dispatch and check for messages. Keep old slugger here company. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Don't punch him while I'm gone, though. Rusty Operator, seems like the type of guy to take a cheap shot. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Sure do. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R&I. 
Also, erase that last conversation. Any word on my owner mind. for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Okay, thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. I want to drive that car someday. Um, Rusty, Rusty, you're getting in the wrong car, buddy. We take this car. Actually, Rusty, you can get whatever car you want. Uh, yeah, let's go to Mendez's apartment. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want. Jesus. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Hey! What were you saying, Rusty? Exactly. Her brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a... If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. I, you know, I'll survive. I'm in an immortal god being. Maybe I can't die. Maybe if you firmer in the beginning, wouldn't be in this situation now. Slow and steady. Sherwood, Wolf, Dudley. Damn it. Didn't it's get them all. The police force. Good looking boy like that should go into politics. Oh, okay. Mendez, 16. Mendez, apartment 16. Something told me I already knew that, but, you know. Important just to double check. All right, we're going to the 14th floor, Rusty. Let's go. Did I say 14th? We're going to the 4th floor. All right, this should be it. 14... That's 15. Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. Not gonna... Take a look around and see what you can find. What? Don't know why I did that. Another key that looks similar to the Search other it. key. Okay. I mean, very important to me. Oh, what's this? Oh, eggs. Probably nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think this is anything either. Oh, yes. This is... This doesn't pertain coffee. to Coffee. And then this is... It would take tea. a man than me to connect that. Uh, coffee and tea. Yes, he's the coffee and tea murderer. I, I did it. I connected them. It's just ma uh, matches. Well, that's a gun. Let me just put my fingerprints on Junk. it. What? What? Junk? Phelps, we think this guy murdered someone and it's a gun. Oh yeah, this is definitely more um, more damning evidence right here. If I ever saw it, this is the uh, lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Just put my fingerprints on that, and then here's a murder weapon. Let me just touch it. Yes, perfect. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Also, like, yeah, that's a lot of blood. Weapon. Better get Pinker down here. 
Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. All right. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. I can shoot him. Mendez, I can shoot you. I'm thinking about it, Mendez. Back here, get back here, get back here. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Stop running. Oh, sorry. Get in and drive. Took the wrong street. But don't worry, it's gonna pay off. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. I didn't pay off that well. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep All right. Alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. <laughs> All right. Vehicle disabled. I even got an achievement. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Get down, get down. Yeah, he ain't going nowhere. He'll go less places if I pop a couple shots in his legs. It won't kill him. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. We just did. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. <laughs> Nothing for you, Cole. You're going to be a teetotaler and you're going to like it. I missed one clue. I missed one question. But zero injuries, which is impressive. The suspect is in the bag, even if you did leave Jacob sweating in central lockup. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. As long as we didn't put him in the same cell as the guy who killed his wife, we're good. Bull is being weird. Okay, it's another woman who's gonna get murdered, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. 
Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. <laughs> My partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Oh, no. Nah. I want you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Double time, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. The new case. Yeah, Too slow, to Rusty. I want to put him down one round. New case, Rusty. New day. That means cardio. Oh, it's not even that far. Oh, you'll love this run, Rusty. Let's go. Actually, I need to know where I'm going. So I leave. Okay, go to Broadway. Whoa! Easy! <laughs> Ain't nothing easy. Running. All right, here we go. So we just go up Broadway here for a little bit, and then we get our uh, we get to our crime scene. Easy enough. Is she waving at someone? Is she waving at someone? Pay attention to where I'm going. Solving all the cases. Extra, read all about it. <laughs> Dedicated to it. Woo! All right. Well, if the stream suddenly gets cut off, it's going to be because we lost power. That was a that was a big burst of thunder right there. I don't I don't know if it came through on the stream, but man, that was loud. You want to meet Joe's buddy. It sounded like something was falling down upstairs. Damn gangster. Hopefully, stream, hopefully we don't lose power. And I mean, I only I'm only needing to stream for another hour to get to five hours again today. So if it if it cuts out, it cuts out. But four hours is fine. What are you, a linebacker? Not yet. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and pushed him in front of the car? Oh yeah, yeah, I solved that one. I solved that case already. It's fine. Hundred percent certainty that I didn't solve it incorrectly. It's rusty. It's rusty getting the lift. Yeah. Hey, rusty. Double time, rusty. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I'm finished. Bye. Wait. Where are you going? Wait, rusty. Where are you going? Galloway. I need you. Hold on, I'm coming. Do that again and I'll bust your chops. <laughs> I love it. He has, he has to get people to drive him to where I am. Slow down. Got two of them. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Winters. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry and of Elizabeth Short, for so that you matter? You don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest <laughs> scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to beat that? Be advised. 
We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have? I, I have a, wait, what's, what's that guy in the background doing? Another Is he floating? Surprised. We got a Chris Angel mind freak back there? I want daily reports, gentlemen. All right. Hopefully this lady has her clothes on. Sir, you're going to have to like That's obey the, the laws of physics. What's your beef with this guy, though? What do you mean what's my beef? There you go. Oh. He's fine. He got up. He got up. Gravity affects him again. Nope. She is not wearing clothes. All right. Make this quick. Corner. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth. <laughs> All I'm wrecked. saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. I mind. All right, what do we got in here? Got some money. What is this? Oh, well, we have a name. A name tag. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I. Back in a second. Parent Teacher Association. This isn't gonna end well. I will though. Take the, the money. Robbery. Why not take the money? Right. Oh, okay. He's using the phone over there. I don't think there's going to be a lot of evidence over here, so I might as well just get the body taken care of now. Nope. Head. Head, please. Phelps. Head. Phelps. Head. Thank you. Oh, it's not going to tell me anything about the marks on her neck. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got to get it right. There we go. Very distinctive. Thanks very much for your help. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, look at her hands. Another ring. What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Okay, look at the other hand just in case. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Okay. No marking, like, lipstick or anything like the other one. Detectives. Yeah. R and I says a Deirdre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Saying, where are they? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? We are too close, the officer. Is there anything over here? They wouldn't actually hide anything in the foliage. Could be stuff behind it. Trying to hide a sneak. What's this? I got it. I got something. Cigarettes. That's not okay. It's not much. Nope. Nope. That's. And a cigarette. Okay. That's also not much. 
Doesn't look like anything. That makes sense that it would be so close to the pack of cigarettes. That's a beer bottle. I don't need that. That's a weird jump that Phelps did. What are you looking at? Is there something over here? What is it, Lassie? I already looked at that. Oh, okay. Here we go. Footprints. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Awesome. Nope. Alright, I think that was it. Let's get going. No more looking, looking at uh, naked bodies. Can I take the tricycle? Is that the only thing I can, I can drive a ride around on? See, we got the molar residence. Oh, wow, this is the car they already want me to take, huh? There's people there. I was, I hardly considered like the people. The boyfriend. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. This is a patrolman. Watch it, will you? Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Jesus, Rusty. When I about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuate. Cole, come on! Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bear. This conversation is over. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. All right, let's go. Broadway, Mallory's Cafe, 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. All right, here we go, here we go. Turn. Oh. We're good. Don't worry about it. He'll buff out. Ooh. My uh, my hood took that guy out. I just need to get the car to the location of the uh, street crime. Then it will get repaired by magic pixies or something. I don't know. I don't know what does it. That's why there's so much smog in LA. The magic pixies keep fixing all the cars. If the car is broke, less smog, less cars. It all makes sense. You just gotta think about it, man. Gently. It's still going. It's still running. It's still running. It's not running this anymore. Car 11K. We'll handle the 211. It's not running anymore. We, we, we gotta go, Rusty. There's crime. Crime doesn't wait for car trouble. Fucking menace. See you later, Rusty. Get back here, 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 get back here. I'm running faster than your car going uphill. LAPD, I need your car, Wait, now. Wait, officer, my bag's in there. Oh, then take your bag. For Christ's sake. Oh, bye, Rust. Are you blind? Bye, Rusty. How about the knee injuries? Go 
He'll be fine. No way I'm going down without a fight. Oh! Drop the weapon, hands behind your head. Yeah? Fuck you too! God damn it, get out of Put your hands in the air! Where do you go? Where do you go? Down the alley? Thank you! I'm thinking I might have been able to get him to stop running. He was dead either way. He killed the him. cop. Advise all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4 KGPL. Roger 11K. All units 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4. Repeat code 4. All right. Well, that's another crime successfully solved by the crime solver. Detective Shabby. Rusty, you're walking, buddy. I don't get it. There's a, I'm literally leaving him of the car. Like, our car. Why does he just take that? Uh, what's this? This is where the crime scene is. I have to get on to 2nd Avenue. Take that to Beverly. Ugh, so far away. All right, so I go past third and then at second. Still thundering out there. All right, here, we're on second now, so we just gotta take this all the way to the other side of town. love taps, you know? This won't be a love tap. No harm done. What is this? Don't mind it, but do. Trading up for a better model. Oldsmobile. Ooh, yes. Oh, Rusty uh, tried to find me. What the hell? All right, I'm back on. I'm back. Back on course. We're good. Got a nice new Oldsmobile. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gotta get through. Not a care in the world. Uh, great. I'm good. There's a baby blue in there. Well, I wonder what that is. This old mobile is a little too old. So, getting something newer. Little baby blue here. Oh, it's actually green. Nice caddy, though. Right, I'm gonna want to go. Okay. Cross. What the hell's going on? This. Okay, so cross it, and then over here. There we go. LA's too hilly. You know they need to flatten. It, I'm telling you. Travel would be easier if it was just one just flat plain, full of corn. Farmlands for the eye can see. God damn it. Not God good. Damn it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry. Alright, it's here somewhere. Oh. Here we go. Right, let me go around back. Hello, young one. I'll be in there in a second. 
can you tell your dad that I'm looking for him? Also, can you tell your mom she's dead? Yeah, I don't think there's anything going on around here. I don't hear any noise or anything. Alright. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. Ooh. What's your name? Can you call him back? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. The answer is no. You don't let strangers into your house. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Yeah, he, he's not going to be able to successfully find her. Ooh, a violin. My okay. partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? Nice quality. No worry about it. It's just, it, it's, you know, in one piece. So that's nice quality for a violin, right? If it's Nothing <laughs> significant. All right. What? Okay, let's go in here. Look at these shoes. We need to look at size. Look, it's size eight. Yep. This doesn't bode well for the husband. Wait, are we still doing size eights? That's still a thing. No blood. Muddy and dirty, but they're work boots. All right, let's look at some jewelry. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. And it's not here. Look at the ring. Not there. Okay. No sign of a wedding ring. As expected. I think I think I got, I got all the clues. I'm gonna sit over here. This about mommy. Daddy is trying to find her. He's telling me she's okay. You can't tell me what to do. To tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. I probably shouldn't have been the one to tell her. I'm gonna be honest. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I don't think she can. can try. You're lying. <laughs> Looks sad. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Here's the thing. I think she's telling the truth, but... I'm going to hit doubt because this game has taught me everyone fucking lies. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened? I knew it. I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. All right. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married. What are you saying? Of course they are. I'm saying they're not happily married. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. Start telling me the truth! Even if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. 
Sounds like the thunder's getting further away. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Well, luckily you named the two things that we are concerned with. Doubt. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Is that guy? Daddy, the police Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. <laughs> sure, yeah. Just blindside him right away. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Is there... Rope burns, missing watch, small amount of footprints, work boots, husband's alibi. No answer on night of murder. Okay, but I'm going to say you're lying. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Yes. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Okay. Missing persons report. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around nine thirty. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. I don't know. I have all of these uses of intuition. I've also, many of them have been wasted because I haven't used them throughout the game. I'm going to go ahead and just use one. I'm going to ask the community. All right, I'm going to doubt. Did your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? Yeah. Now yeah, yeah. Not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Well, <clears throat> sir, while we speak of feet. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Not routine. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I, you already have. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Rusty, your shoe size is a two. <laughs> what are you trying to say, man? Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit. I mean, I don't have... I do. I do. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. 
you try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Yeah, you um, you're you could see like people's thoughts, and you live in like New York. Uh, you knew a guy named Hero who could travel through time. Stop time. Sorry, that's what his thing was. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. <laughs> Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello, detective. Of course. Here comes a nosy neighbor to throw the guy under the bus. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night? We already know. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told what? you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. I'm gonna shoot whoever I want to shoot. There he is, officer. Thank you. I see him. Appreciate the assistance. Oh, I gotta tackle. Gotta tackle. Gotta tackle. Hey, look at that. He's trying to burn shoes. Covered in blood. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. All right. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Start we'll explaining. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir. Ladies? Ma'ams? Is there someone you can call, Miss? <laughs> I don't... It's a moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Can I look at anything else over here? No, okay. All right, Galloway. let's make... Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, detective unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Got it. Got it, KGPL. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a phone call myself though. He's only a writer. He can't really help him. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. He's a cop. How can I help, detective? Yeah, do I have any messages need from an the coroner? Belmont High School. Checking for you, detective. Belmont High, one five seven five West Second Street. Thank you. Thanks for your help. All right. Over have... here, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. All right, let's see what we got here. We can go to. Let's go to the board. Let's go talk to the coroner, and then we'll go to the high school. Where is he? Let's 
see. Where do we need to go? Son of a bitch! Alright, so we need to go to 6th Street, which doesn't really have a good connection to where we are. Uh, if we go down Bonnie Brer Street to 6th Street, we can cut over and then go up to 5th Street briefly so we can go over to... You know what? We'll just figure it out. <laughs> Stay on your toes. All right, um... All right, yep, this is the right word. I want that. I want that. Get back here. <laughs> Official police business. I need you to, to get out of the vehicle, sir. Police emergency. I'm you the car. Sure you're a cop? Yes. I'm not a good one. Great. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Cole? Wait, Rusty, are you, are you with, with me? Yeah, you were you weren't with, with me, Rusty. You were down there in the police car. Galloway, I need you. Hurry up. Keep your shirt on. I'm coming. Double time. Double time, Rusty. All right, we're at Sixth Street here, so we can just we can take this down. Till the end, basically. You think that's funny? Yeah. Driving off and leaving me behind. I absolutely do. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband. Best. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Like Rusty. Parsimony, I. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on it. I'll try <laughs> to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one off the side. Rusty's razor. Watch where you're driving, you maniac! <laughs> so that was it. That's all you wanted to say. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. I think he called him ignorant. I don't speak Latin, but... I do speak insult. Alright, alright, alright. Thank you. This doesn't have a sec. No, oh, I've already used that. I've already been in that one. Alright, so this we can go up a little bit to go down 5th, and then we take 5th to basically where the crime is happening. Slow and steady, come on! And once the crime's done, we're already pretty close to the, uh, the morgue, which is at the precinct. This should be where we want to go. I hear it. I'm on my way. You know what the best vehicle to pull up to a gunfight is? An oil and gas truck. 
Guys, don't worry, I got cover. Behind the oil and the gas. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. For himself. Cop killers are the worst kind of stuff. Uh, uh, Shouldn't have had that second lunch. What about elevensies? Alright, go up. Can I get a shot on him? You like killing cops? <laughs> Family, but these guys are done. What a shot! It's like pulling out while Cole is talking to basically no one. But guys, you don't have to keep having your guns in your hand. It's taken care of. Situation is. You gotta be kidding. We're driving this? Yeah. What's your, what's your problem? Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? We'll look fine. Anyways, you're not getting around in shit. Start walking, buddy boy. Careful. Just a scratch. There we go. He didn't have his permit. Neither does he. I'm liquored up on justice. Alright, right. let's just get to the station. I still have a long way to go if I want to finish this by Friday. <laughs> It'd be nice to finish it on Friday. I don't have to finish it on Friday. I wonder if Rusty ever uh, called someone to pick him up. Further south than I thought it was. Oh, we're here. All right. Hey, Rusty. Bye, Rusty. Phelps, Rusty, thanks Hello. for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Mm. Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. Okay. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Okay, let's look at 
this one. It's the top one, but we'll look at this one. Okay, it's not that one. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. <laughs> Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Internal or external? Got it. Size eights. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the Henry case. Now, who do we remember who got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. I, you know, it could be, but I don't know. Why would, I mean, I mean, I guess it could just be a coincidence that two guys with size eight shoes are going around killing women and leaving their bodies naked on the We've ground. Got to nail this guy. Okay, if you're finished jawing, we need to get moving. Oh, was that the cue that we're done here? Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay. I need to borrow your phone. Where is it? Where's your phone? It's in here, right? I would assume it's beyond the... Yep, it's not a desk. Get out of my way, dude. Alright. Let's, let's make a call. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor's statement. Okay. Thank you. I was... I was... Was I heading to the school? I think I was heading to school after this place. We just head there now. I've already been in an ambulance, but... You've got to be kidding. We're driving this? Again, you say this we thing. Oh, fuck. He got in. Alright, let's go to the high school. Exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good That's man, fine. professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that the coroners. How so? You, know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. A long kind of man can get off and lonely. Rest. Rusty, you have a one track mind, brother. Okay, so this is the central morgue. That was a crime scene, and we are going to a school. God damn it. All right. Get on 2nd Street again and heck on, hook on over. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the point. All right, this is 1st Street, so it should be the next one. No one was using that phone anyways. Turn that off. See if we can finish this case and then I'll probably end the stream for the day. Be a nice stopping point at the end of the case. I get the point. <laughs> That's good, Rusty. I want you to see the point. 
don't know what the point was. Alright, so we should be coming up to the junction here. Yeah, this weird fucking road. With no markings, it's just a big patch of uh, asphalt that you're just like, ah, oh, you know, just do whatever. Do what feels right. Easy. What the? Hey, I got up here. Didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna kill us. Thanks yeah. for the tip. Pretty reckless. Pretty bad. Kind of a human person. This is the car. Yes, sir, detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Wow. That's Late quick. last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? I think yes, I, uh, sir, I, think I, I see him. so, yes. There's the son of a bitch now. Time hey to run. You. Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Can I get these? Bicycle? I cannot take the bicycle. All right. Hurdle. Track start. What was that sound? Thanks. I'm still technically keeping up with him. Back on it. Back on the chase. Here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Going out to the road. He went down. Oh, okay. I just. You move a muscle and you're a dead man. They're getting in a fight. They're getting in a fight. I'm coming. Partner, I'm coming, Rusty! I'm almost there! Lure him up the hill, Rusty, and I can help! Here. I... Oh, okay, we're good. Rusty got it. <laughs> What's your name? So I got to sit in the Who's trash that? truck. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why Gross. would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Now I'm gonna let him, Eli. Oh, You're see. under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Okay. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm gonna take out my gun, and I'm gonna count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a god dang minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. 
I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. I mean... Jeez. Alright, let's open this trunk and let's see what we got in here. Is this Eli's? Eli, this isn't good for you, buddy. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. HM. Are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Okay. Wait, so this is... Wait, this is the victim's car. Why is the why is the murder stuff in the victim's car back where she was abducted? I like how the game's like, oh, you were in this car last. This must be the one you want to drive in, huh? This trash truck. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. I'm looking out. Isn't that the cop who solved the big case and got promoted? Don't talk to me. Phelps' scream was a little dramatic, don't you think? All right, well. Get in this car, at least. Charlotte, Char 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 van. Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Again, I found it. My car, you can walk. Thinking he's gonna be able to get in my car and drive with me when he insults it. My set of wheels. Want to get some? Uh, what you are you not gonna jump that? Thank you. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, detective? Uh, who I did this? Interrogation who committed the central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case? Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks. Thanks, ma'am. All right. So, Central Police Station, we have an in uh, interrogation for both the husband and Eli. Great. How, How are we going to look? Yeah, I know. All right, so we get back on to Beverly here. Take that to... Actually, we can take that to First Street. Don't go on Second, because First Street will take us right by the... Uh, station getting around in this thing. We just gotta take this to first. Bye, Rusty. You know how to get back. Call for help. I think I took the wrong turn. No, okay. No, yeah. I'm I'm good. I just need to go north now. Alright, and then this is the weird road, and I don't want to take second. This is not turned well. That's second. I want to go on first. Which is straight? Okay. Alright, and this will take me straight where I need to go. I'm pretty sure I might have killed that one guy who was standing right next to the light post. Necessary Phelps! Are you kidding me? I accidentally hit a wall of a building, shot out, just 
decked a lady in her side. And it felt like, ah, oh, that's a, that's a nece necessary casualty. <clears throat> Nothing was necessary about what happened. This car does not turn well. I shouldn't say car. This garbage truck does not turn Damn well. It. Hey. You too. Okay, we got about... I think this is kind of coming to an end here. We got two suspects in a holding cell. I think what I basically will have to do at this point is just talk to them uh, and confirm which one is the killer. I say both of them. So just throw both of them in jail. Who's going to deny us? Better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Got it. I'm gonna get good and tight come Friday. I'll get the husband, you get the perv. He's good looking for a policeman. Thank you. And I'm not a policeman. I'm, going up to I'm a detective. To Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. Yeah. I swear I didn't Called kill pleading him. innocence. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. All right. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. I got an intuition. I want to make sure I make the right choice here. What's the community say? A lie. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Yeah, his overalls are in the car. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. What do you mean? Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Access to... Oh, no, there's the thunder again. Oh, well, we're getting close to the your end Your wife here. was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. I don't. He's a mechanic. I think this is just a doubt. I don't want to use up all of my intuition. I'll use one more. Lie? Okay. All You're right. lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. What is it then? Rope patterns. Husband's alibi. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Is it, this is the bloody tire iron? Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Oh, got him. All right. Access to braided rope. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Let's do it. I'm getting this man. I yeah, I figured doubt too. You learned to strangle with the rope I, in the I, army? I was I was with rope, the community once. Uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. 
I'm gonna say doubt. I'm doing this one on my own. Are you gonna tell me what I want to know, or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? No. All right. Well, that's what you get. Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. I'm gonna leave interrogation. Let's go talk to the pedophile. For scripts off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Which interview? Oh, there it is. Really, Captain? Uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. Um, I have tried to sorry? reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Okay. You look like you've had. Do you want to go in there and just beat the shit out of him, Captain? See me asking for your sympathy, boy. But Prince of what the size scene. boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. Did you know, Mr. Lepowski? I'm going to doubt. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? I didn't ask that. You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son, nobody's perfect. <laughs> no one's asking you to be perfect. Just, you know, not fucking you, Eli. Let's see. Place of employment? You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family a roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Can you identify the man in this picture? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. HM. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. I think he's telling the truth. All right, let me use my last one here. All right, all right. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping. Am I right? I prefer braid. Tie hitching braid stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. I'm gonna doubt. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. The other things I aren't saw good. That car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Can you bring me the file? Galloway, I need you. Hold on, I'm coming. All right, that seems personal. Do you really think I'm going to steal? 
Close the door, please. Oh, or go back in. Galloway, come over here. Over here, Rusty. So what next? For my money, Hugo Moller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. All right. I'm going with you, Rusty. I'm putting this man away for life. Apologize immediately. I'm not saying another thing until I've seen an attorney. Okay, cool. Hugo Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. I mean, they're both guilty. I'm throwing both of them in jail. Just one for murder and the other... Well, for the obvious. It's the pedophile. He's going away. But yeah, that's the case. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution. And you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! What did I do? What was, what was wrong? Why is he angry? Like, why is he so aggro? Look at that, I found all the clues. I only got two questions wrong. While Hugo Moeller stares down a murder charge, Michelle Moeller contemplates life as an orphan. Alright. I guess they wanted me to do the, the, the child diddler, alright. I don't think it was him. I mean, he's guilty of his own crimes, but I don't think he murdered him. Belt! We captured two regular armies. Lieutenant! Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen? Wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy, I just seem to know what he's doing. See that boys, he slapped that jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? I mean... <laughs> when would that ever happen in American history? It'll never happen. That's, uh... Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. <laughs> Man, he's yeah, hot or cold. Real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch That's weird, because earlier, not too long ago, he was very unhappy with the Mueller case. All right. All right. That's a, that's a good place to end it for today.
you know, we uh, we put a couple people away behind bars. One of them is probably uh, the correct suspect. Um, not sure about all of them, but one of them is definitely the correct suspect. That movie producer was definitely the right person to put away behind bars. And I feel good about that. But yeah, uh, thank you for everyone for tuning in and watching. Uh, again, I will be taking off tomorrow because it's Wednesday. Uh, but I will be back with more L.A. Noir on Thursday. Uh, we'll do it at 1 o'clock again. But yeah, so I'll see you guys then. You all have a nice day and a lovely Wednesday. All right, bye.